we do here is go back, 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 back. Today's video, we are going to do a get ready with me chit chat talk while we do this makeup look. Um, yeah, you know, kind of updates where I've been because I know I've been missing. It's like, where was I? Was I on the milk carton yet? No. But um, I don't remember what my hair looked like in this last in the last video. But I went through a phase where it was like blue and purple, and then all blue. And then I dyed it to like a dark brown, but now it's faded to light brown. So, anywho, let's um, get into the video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your homegirls, share it with your homeboys, and let's get going with this makeup and get ready. Let's go. Hello, hello. I had something in my teeth. Oh well. Anywho, let's get started. So, I kind of laid out my stuff that I plan on using, so we'll see. But anywho, yeah guys, let's get this convo going. So, I know I've been gone for like months <laughs> at a time. I really thought I'd be able to upload more of the Halloween content and stuff like that throughout the end of the year slash beginning of the year, but um, I got a new job, so that was extensive training and that took a toll on me for sure um so i'm just trying to shake this up because it separates i don't know if you guys have tried this i think this is like a newer formula or something like that but i really liked it um before i used to make my skin super oily but now it doesn't but anywho <clears throat> Yeah, so sorry for being gone. Again, I do apologize. But, you know, life, work, and school caught up with me. My classes are just getting harder. Definitely not getting easier, but what we can do. We have to just keep going for our goals, right? But anywho, yeah, how have you guys been? You know, what's new with you? But I can tell you what's going on with me. But yeah, like I was saying, pretty much where I have been is I got a new job, like I said. So that took up most of my time and then school and then life. And also I am pregnant. So <laughs> that's where that goes too. So I had all of that on my plate or I currently have all of that on my plate still. Um, but I just finished my summer semester of school, so I have like two weeks off till the next semester starts. Um, I am due November 16th. I know, like, why am I going to fall semester? I asked my counselor the same thing. But she managed to find me two classes that end in October, so hopefully, you know, baby comes when babies do. <laughs> and not sooner but yeah that's where I have been you guys I know it's a lot well for me it's a lot <laughs> you know you go you go girl you know and gentlemen if you have a lot of your plate and you handle your shit like proud of you because I used to be like that and then this pregnancy low-key made me a little bit weak which you know maybe I needed to be a little soft so that's that but yeah I just kind of wanted to you know make this comfortable talk with you guys stuff like that so yeah I know I guess I can fill you in I think the last video I made probably was a Halloween one um yeah but my new job I actually work for Divita it's a um, like a dialysis clinic if you don't know what that is like if your kidneys go out or are going out um, pretty much my job is to, I'm a technician, so I connect you to the machines, and it's pretty much an artificial kidney that is, you know, working in place of or with your current health and stuff like that, so 
I thought this job, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> was gonna be like an easy kind of thing to do, and it's actually not. It's very intensive, you know, you're working with like four patients at a time, so it was a lot, you know, at first, I'm not gonna lie, like I probably like, the training was like, I think 12 weeks, and out of those 12 weeks, I'm pretty sure I cried in my car like two or three times. And sorry if the thing's shaking. I'm just like trying to pick up this powder. And I'm using the same brush because I lost my fluffy brush for the powder. So, yeah. Anywho, sorry. I have a tendency of like jumping from like two different conversations at once. So, I do apologize. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that's what I do now. Um, I used to be medical assistant if you, don't, if you didn't know. So, I am now a dialysis technician. I plan on getting certified soon. I just wanted to give myself a little bit more, <clears throat> excuse me, hands-on experience and stuff like that. Kind of learn tips and tricks along the way. Also, sorry if I breathe heavy. It's just one of the things I do now while I'm pregnant. So, sorry. But, yeah, that's pretty much how that's been going. And... Um, like I said, I like the job. I like that it's in the healthcare field. It's giving me experience and stuff like that, which I do appreciate. Um, it's definitely harder than I thought it would be, especially while pregnant. Um, you don't get a lot of sit down time. Well, at least I don't. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, I work 12 hour shifts, so it is very tiring. Um, and I work overnight, so from like three in the afternoon till three in the morning so you know my time is a little bit off compared to most people which is a little bit hard when we want to do like family things or go out because everybody wants to wake up at six and I'm just like going to bed at six <laughs> so it's a little bit tough excuse me also coffee mug I could have hold it this way because I forgot it's on both ends <laughs> whatever but anywho as for work, that's pretty much that. <clears throat> it's more so the pregnancy I kind of want to talk about because it's new to me. And, you know, I definitely want some tips and tricks from everybody. So, but yeah, as for work, that's pretty much how that's been going. Um, it's all new to me. I'm still considered, my, considered like a new person in my eyes because, you know, the three months of just was training. And they put you on your own and you go from there. But I really like it. It's a good company. Um, I would say... Alright. So it's been a cool minute since I recorded. And I guess I ran out of storage in my internal memory. So we jumped to the SD card. Anywho, I don't know where I left off. But pretty much... But anywho, I'm going to start doing my brows. And of course, I'm going to use my Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade from Maybelline. Um, this lasts me a very long time, let me tell you. Okay, I swear doing my brows is just like, it's definitely one of the most frustrating things for me because I feel like, I don't know how these girls like blend everything so good. I'm over here like, this is what it's going to be today. <laughs> so yeah, I did the, my brows, you know, the best that I can. I don't really even stress over them at this point anymore. You, you kind of, kind of, blah, blah, blah. I'm kind of at the point where I gave, I'm giving up on my brows, I guess, so. Yeah. That's how that's going. Anywho. Mr. Nicholas is in the shower, so be here. The shower. That's that. And I usually put, um, like a brow wax or gel on my eyebrows. But I'm not going to do that today just because it's kind of late in the day already and I'm not really trying to have it hold all day and night. So, yeah. Um, let's get into this eyeshadow look. So, I'm going to be using... My sister had got me this a while ago. It's um, like an Aladdin, Aladdin, you know, from the Disney movie Aladdin kind of based eyeshadow palette. I think it's by Romantic Beauty. This is professional makeup somewhere right here. Um, 
I've never seen this brand, so I'm kind of new with working with it, but it's so pretty. So this is what we're gonna be working with today. And I don't know what we're doing exactly, so that should be a surprise. Anywho, so yeah, um, I don't remember the last thing I was saying. I'm pretty sure I was talking about work though. Um, but that's about it. Um, as for kind of jumping to the next thing, school. So as of, if you don't know already, I'm going to school to be an RN. I'm doing my prereqs right now at MSJC in Menifee. And <clears throat> I am almost done. I only need one class to apply for the program. Um, it's, I believe I had to take like microbiology last. I was taking it in the spring of this year, but I did have to drop the class because it interfered with, um, my, <laughs> it interfered with my training and I didn't want to request days off because I was new already, you know, as it is, and it just looks bad in my opinion. So I dropped that class because the tests were proctored, so it has to be on a specific day and time, and if you're not there, he just didn't let you make it up, so I didn't see the point of continuing to try and fail the class. Uh, I was gonna make sure baby cow's up there. She's like hidden in the blanket somewhere over there. So I'm pretty much gonna add this all over my eyeshadow base just to give it a base. But anywho, yeah, so I was taking microbiology and something else, I don't remember, but I have to drop micro and I kept, oh, I was taking Spanish, I think. Um, and I kept Spanish because obviously it's an easy class. I kind of already know Spanish, except um, school Spanish is so much different than how you learn from like your grandparents or parents. Like, I don't, I wasn't taught that way. <laughs> so, but yeah, so um, pretty much, this semester took anatomy 102 and only have microbiology left and then ex not extracurricular. <laughs> um, pretty much like all I have to do is transfer classes um, that I want obviously if I wanted to transfer to a different university and stuff like that. Um, but I'm knocking out the main courses that I have to do just to get into the RM program at least. And I've been doing pretty good so my grades are pretty good, my GPA is really good. So my um, excuse me. My counselor feels really confident with me. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> trying to reach over to grab stuff. I lost, or I didn't even grab my blending brush. But my counselor feels really confident in me that I'll get into the program fairly quickly. Um, and, you know, with bringing a new baby along, um, it's going to be difficult. So I am taking this day by day kind of you know learning as I go because I'm gonna be a new mom and um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing and I'm not ashamed to say anything like that and I was like oh my god you're a new mom you don't know what you're doing yada 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 baby girl you did not know what you were doing you didn't even know what you were gonna do yesterday so I'm not I'm not worried Did I rip something? Anywho, this little jumpsuit that I'm wearing is fitting me a lot smaller than I thought. And I heard something snap, so I hope it was my bra <laughs> and not the jumpsuit. But anywho, um, yeah, school was going great. Like I said, just one more class to take, and then I join the wait list. I'm hoping to get in by, I have to do my micro class spring of next year. And then I get in, I apply, you know, at the end of spring and hopefully get in by fall or spring of the following year. Um, like I said, God's timing is on his own. Obviously he felt, you know, this is the route to do. So that's the route I'm going to go. I'm not going to, I'm not even stressed to be honest. And, and I'm kind of like, it feels good to not have to stress about that. Excuse me. So that's that with school pretty much nothing too crazy just that classes you know are getting harder and um with work and everything kicking my butt it was just it was just a lot I just felt tired and as it is this pregnancy um 
I said I'm new to all this um, and it just really kicked my butt like the first trimester I literally felt like I was damn near dying every day like I couldn't take anything out I actually lost 18 pounds just for my first trimester alone um, and I was eating but you know half the time was throwing up but I just wasn't able to take anything down and yeah so mr. Nicholas is getting out of the shower so I'll probably do a voiceover unless no he's gonna have to come out and change huh we'll see right now give me a second I'll just work on one eye till I figure out what I'm gonna do and I'll come back and do the second eye with you guys that's what I'll do give me a second all right so we are back with one eye done I think I'm gonna do this kind of gives me like you know Aladdin Egyptian kind of theme going on and I wanted to do where I only touch this palette so this is what I'm working with but anywho yeah I feel like once we get this eye done it's gonna look a little bit better so <laughs> okay so as you know I put this all over the base and then I went ahead with this on the crease as well as on the eyelid um, then we added some brow wax to help the glitter stick a little bit and we used this one and then for our under eye we're going in with this last corner color right here it's like a bluish greenish kind of color really cute but yeah let's go ahead and do the other eye I don't remember oh I use this brush for the glitter too huh let me blend this out but where was I, I don't remember school I think but yeah, that's pretty much about it with school. As for jumping onto the pregnancy topic, because I'm pretty much almost done with the makeup. I really don't take long anymore. At least I try not to. Um, yeah, the first trimester whooped my butt. Um, it was very hard because um, at the time I was working, my training was in the morning shift. So it would be from you know 3 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. And um, it took a toll on me. I would, everything I ate, I'd have to go eat in my car because literally seconds later I would throw up. And, you know, I try not to do that in public. <laughs> so I really didn't go out. And if I did, um, I would sit on the edge of like compared to where Nick Reeves was sitting on the edge and um, just say I had to use the restroom. And we kept it from our family for about, <sighs> I think I told them maybe when I was about like eight weeks. Um, I think so, yeah. Because we try to keep it a secret as long as we can, but we decided just to tell our, you know, our immediate family first. Like, hey, surprise. And, you know, everybody was super awesome, which would make it, not that it wouldn't have been, but it was really nice, you know. You just feel comfortable. And, yeah. That's pretty much how that went. I'll do a story kind of telling time um, later on down the road just so I can kind of go in more detail about that and maybe, you know, start like a mommy kind of, you know, subsection into this because I'm new and I see a bunch of videos um, and I love how everything kind of has, like my nose is itchy. How's that, how everything's kind of like a learning process with everything and I really kind of want to grow with you guys and do as much as I can here on my channel you know beauty self-care just random stuff hang out with me kind of thing so yeah I'm excited but that's pretty much how and then I'm using by the way for the brow I know there's like glitter glue and everything but I'm using what I have like you know be resourceful with your stuff the Sephora brow kit, it has like, um, I think it's two shades of brow powder and then like a brow wax. I really don't like the wax, it doesn't stick, it's more just like a, like a gloss I would say. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of using that for the glitter portion of this look. But yeah, so pregnancy is now up my alley, I am 24 four weeks as of this moment but by the time I upload this give me like a couple days um I'll be 25 weeks and it has been a hell of a ride like I said everything's learning experience so far um I'm slowly getting to the hang of things 
everybody kind of told me, oh, by your second trimester, you know, you'll gain your energy back. That's not the case for me. I still feel very tired. And I hate that, I swear, people with like eyelids, like mine, uneven eyelids, like this one's so much smaller than this one. I hate doing looks. I mean, I love doing makeup looks, but I hate doing looks where, like for example, like this, you're gonna notice the glitter more on this side, but I kind of embrace my unevenness and you should too, if you have uneven eyelids. Just, you know, do what you can. Oh, I also forgot to mention to kind of deepen the corners, I used um, both these reds. I don't know if you can see this one and this one. Um, just to kind of bring everything in a little bit better. But yeah, that's how that's kind of going. Um, if you notice, I'm talking a little bit lower because Nicholas is home already, so. I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's weird. Like, I haven't been recording for a while, so it's kind of weird still. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll do a whole separate video about the pregnancy and stuff like that. Pregnancy announcement. Um, I'll show you guys the video that I made on TikTok. Um, but I can't upload it, the music, obviously, because of copyright. Stuff like that, but I will definitely show you guys because it's really cute. So that's pretty much where I've been. I've also, oh, I didn't even, like during October, I had this, but I never even announced it. I remember saying, oh, big things are coming and I never even announced it. Let me just tell you guys now before I freaking forget. So I actually started a lash business, um, not lash extensions, but actually lashes, you know, lashes, lashes. And when I first had did it, obviously it was super good. A lot of people had bought the product and now I'm kind of at a standstill. So for my business women out there, give me some advice. I know promoting is, you know, 100% good. Um, I will definitely walk you guys through how that went as well. There's so many videos ideas that I have that I want to do or that I have been wanting to do, but I haven't gotten to it. So bear with me because they are definitely coming. And, but yeah, I started a lash business. Um, these lashes are so freaking cute, you guys. Like, I'll link, and not, I'm not saying that I'm trying to self-promote, but I kind of am. But <laughs> they're really, they're really, really good. And they're super, like, the quality of them, it's, it's like, ugh, I can't stress enough. You're, you're going to like, at least try one, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Because they're worth it, let me tell you. And, um... But I'll do, like I said, I'll do a separate video kind of showing you each lash individually. Um, just so you guys can have a better view of everything. And kind of see where I'm coming from as, as a perspective. And then your feedback, of course, is greatly appreciated. Just so I can, you know, grow as a businesswoman a little bit better. And learn as I go, you know. That's all I can do. But yeah, that's pretty much the updates I really have. Like, that's where I've been. Um, I know it doesn't sound like a lot of what I'm talking about, <laughs> but it really is. And, you know, for those who understand where I'm coming from, you know, you just know. It's, it's a lot. And I really wanted to focus on myself, my mental health a little bit more. Um, you know, pregnancy doesn't really, with all the hormones and everything going on, you're not really yourself all the time, so I'm dealing with that as well, learning kind of just to know that it's just the hormones and it's not me. <laughs> but that's kind of how everything's been going with me so far. Nothing too crazy, I'd say, um, but definitely has been a lot for me. And then, like I said, my anxiety and stuff like that, I just, <clears throat> when it's a lot at once, it's just for me, like, it breaks my down, my damn world. So, this was a nice little refresher, you know, to kind of get back into the YouTube game, I'm hoping to not fall off again. So, we'll see.
but I'm trying not to, like I said. And that's all I can do from that, you know? But, um, so I lost my train of thought. Jesus. But like I said, I'll definitely do a more in-depth video about my pregnancy. Um, definitely another in-depth video about my lash business just so I can show you guys kind of each lash individually. I do have, you know, an Instagram page and I was today actually trying to set up a Facebook page. I'm not really familiar in, like, I really don't know how to work around Facebook. I don't use Facebook as well as it sounds. Um, like my mom knows more how to use it than I do. <laughs> um, so I'm shaking this cause like this eye was like, it was like running out. It's the Kat Von D ta Kat Von D tattoo liner. It's like the little sample one I got, and I'm I'm using it till it runs out. <laughs> but I really like it. the The points on it is really, really good. But it picked up a lot of the the glitter, so it was kind of hard to get everything going. But. I'm going to just do this and fast forward it so you guys don't have to see the long process because doing winged eyeliner with hooded lids is just as hard as doing eyeshadow with hooded lids. <laughs> so bear with me. We're just gonna work with this, okay, you guys? Let's just work with this. Okay. Now that I have failed miserably on the eyeliner, let's get this wrapping up, you know? Um, but yeah, I also had my gender reveal too. I am having a boy. Yes, that is what I wanted. Not that I didn't want a girl, you know, I would be totally grateful for anything. Um I don't know, but I just feel like boys are much easier. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure, you know, when they're older, they're gonna be little shits. <laughs> so. And then I'm gonna be using these lashes from my lash brand. Um, this is my third time using it, and I have not cleaned these lashes, even though I can't stress how much, how important it is to clean your eyelashes. Um, I don't, I can't remember what number they are, but they're super, you know, natural looking and in the case itself, they look so small and it's just like, mm, I don't know if I can wear these lashes. They're not as, you know, you know, dramatic how most, most people wear their eyelashes for the point of wearing eyelashes, but I have been loving the natural kind of look. It kind of looks like lash extensions, but obviously you can take them off at night. Um, the reasons why I like lashes is because prior to pregnancy I was a stomach sleeper and then I just have a tendency to sleep in my face I don't sleep in my back so when I had first gotten lash extensions they had fell off so easily it was ridiculous and I was like not about to spend you know 70 80 plus dollars just for me to jack up my own eyelashes when I can buy falsies and apply them whenever I want and then not have to really stress about the care and stuff like that um, that goes behind it. It's not as like much work as you know I'm making it seem, but it's a little. It's you know it's just it's not for everybody, and that's what I appreciate about these lashes. So what I like to do is apply the glue, let it sit a little bit, and start working on something else. And then I'm just gonna use my Ardell lash grip, the old school one. Um, I bought in like another one. I don't know what I did with it, so yeah. This feels nice, so it feels nice to record, you know, and honestly, I haven't really even like applied makeup throughout my pregnancy for work, like I don't. Because it's just I'm just so tired and then with you know the face mask we have to wear, face shield with the wear a coat to prevent enough blood splats on us like it's just so hot and I'm constantly sweating and then I'm ten, I feel 10 times hotter knowing or not knowing that I am pregnant but while I am pregnant so it's just 
I don't even bother anymore. I kind of rather be comfortable anyways, so not that, you know. Oh, and another thing, I don't know if you guys noticed prior to like the start of this video, but my skin has cleared up since this pregnancy and it's crazy. Like, it has dried up more, like I'm having to apply more lotion, stuff like that. Like I had to get moisturizing masks, masks and that was totally opposite from what I used to do with my skin regimen. So I don't know if my hormones kind of dried everything up, but like I just have like some scarring and stuff like that. But you know, the bumps and everything, I am so like, you don't really know. Like I feel confident going outside without makeup now. Um, I've always had that confidence anyways. Like I really didn't mind what people had said, but oh my God, like I can't stress this enough how like, how exciting it has been to not have to worry about that, you know? Um, so I'm gonna grab something I forgot. But yeah, so while that's kind of tacking up on the lashes, I'm gonna go in and kind of contour a little bit, give myself some color. And I'm gonna go with the NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan. I first thought this was like super dark for me, um, but when we blend it out, it kind of blends really well, so. And then I don't need a special brush. I like a fluffy brush, just kind of gives you, you know, more warmth to the face. And then just with the light hand, I just kind of start my cheekbones and blend down. I don't do that harsh, you know, kind of, kind of look going. I just like a nice warmth to the face. Warmth to the face. That sounds weird. But anywho, yeah, I'm kind of like I said, thanks, you know, for hanging out with me. You know, sticking with me through all this. I know. I'm not the best YouTuber in the game and I really plan, like I said, I want to blow up with this. I want to, you know, I want this to be like other, not like, not necessarily like other YouTubers, but you know, they just look like they're having a really good time recording. They have fun recording to the point where it's like their job and you know, that's, that's kind of what I want. You know, I want to feel like I'm not doing a job, but I just like, I don't know. I remember doing this at first, like, it was so scary, but then I kind of enjoy editing. I mean, it does take a lot of time, not gonna lie. <laughs> but, um, it's just, I don't know, it's really, it's really nice to kind of just kick back and do makeup. And then you get to explore with colors, and I don't know, you know, it's just, I like it. And I like that makeup's versatile. Not everybody has to do it the same. And even though, you know, there's people on here who think things have to be done a certain way when it doesn't. I also need to do an updated, like, UEI video because people are still commenting on that. Oh, the comments freaking kill me on that one. Dude, they're like, why are you, like, smacking your teeth? Because... I had lipstick on my mouth. Do you want to see me with lipstick on my teeth the entire video and then you're going to complain about how there's lipstick on my teeth? You know, you can't please everybody, okay? And then for blush, my hands are all dirty because I literally like rub my brushes on them. But this is, what is this? This is a Tarte M Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And does it have the color? I believe the color is called Kisses. Um, I really like this. It has like um, like a little bit of sparkle in it, so it's kind of like you can't really see too much on camera, but in the light or in the sunlight, I feel like it gives your skin a beautiful warmth to it, gives it some color. And I was never a blush person, blush person until like, I started using filters. I don't know if you guys remember that filter where like the blush was like super high so that's what I kind of do now and I'll slowly bring it in just to give it some color and then I'll add some on the nose I know it's weird there's one youtuber I used to watch I used to put it on her nose I'm just like why and now I kind of like it. it's like gives it some color you know I don't know how to explain it but I like it and then let's jump into these lashes did I do it the right way
I don't know, sometimes it's like with certain lashes you know like okay this is the inner corner, this is the outer corner, but I don't know what these ones are because they're so, um, they're even about all the way around because like I said this, this is more of a natural lash. So let's just go ahead and apply it and the band, oh my gosh you guys, the band is like really good. That was my biggest thing. It's like having a band that was too thick or too thin that it felt like they were going to slip off. And I know sometimes, sorry, I'm like all up in here again. People struggle with putting eyelashes on. Um, but honestly, it, it's going to be a struggle at first. Just at least give it a try. Um you slowly learn from your mistakes and you know what to do for the next time. Like my thing is, um, what I, what the mistake used to make was putting the lash glue on and then immediately applying it to your eye, you know, thinking it's going to freaking stick. But letting it become tacky a little bit gives a little bit easier grip that as you see now when I put it in the corner, it doesn't move. I can go ahead and work with the inner part of my eye. And then I just slowly push it in and let it naturally grip to my lashes. and they're on there like they literally look like my lashes which I kind of like you know like a better version of my lashes same thing with the other eye I like to start with placing it in the outer corner first just cuz it lets me know how far I'm bringing it in like you guys I love it I love it and then I kind of make sure they're all the way on there by just pushing the band to the eyelid itself and I'll wait for this one just a little bit because obviously I waited for this one before I start meddling with it and then I could just kind of lift it up to my desired liking And then I do like to add mascara just to kind of blend everything together um, a little more smoothly. And like I said, I use these lashes about three times already. This is like the third or fourth then. I, I can't remember, but um, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Like, they go on really well. This color, my lights like wash out my color. <laughs> I'm so much more tanner than this. So the lashes should be dry a little bit. I'm gonna go with the Maybelline New York False Falsies Lash Lift. Do not, for the love of God, this is not this is not the the, the non waterproof one. Um, Amber, I was wearing this just because it applied super dark and easily, but every time I threw up, I would like cry, like water would come out of my eyes, and it looked like a big mess. Like if you need to cry, don't get this one. It's not worth it. You're literally gonna, you look like a hot mess after, let me tell you. So yeah, just apply a little bit. Apply more towards the root, if anything, just to kind of bring out the other lash, the lashes. And a nice little soft sweep up, sweep up, just to kind of blend everything together. And I'm telling you, they just look like, usually I wear like, you know, longer lashes to the point where they're almost touching my eyebrows, but I've been loving this natural look and I think it's really, you know, feasible for everybody. If especially for newbies, if you're trying to learn how to wear lashes, start with something simple, you know. And I really think these are good practice lashes for those. Like I said, I'll link the website down below from where you can get them. I'll link my Instagram as well so you can check out the other lashes. Um but these ones are like definitely my go-to for every day, and they're not super dramatic. They look like your natural lashes. Just a little bit umph, you know? Like that TikTok, add a little bit of spice. <laughs> like that, pretty much. And I really enjoy them. And they're, like I said, they're super, they're so lightweight on like your eyes, you forget you're wearing them. And that's what I really look for in lashes, you know? Comfortability, how they wear, 
um, how they form with the eye, stuff like that, you know? And that's what we looked for when, or that's what I looked for. When, you know, finding lashes, I didn't go to freaking Alibaba or whatever it's called to get these lashes. These are all from here, so. And that's what I really enjoy. And my vendor is super cool, you know. They're constantly, you know, sending tips and tricks and stuff like that on how to work in your business even though it doesn't always work the way they want it to work. <laughs> But like I said, yeah, um, for any of my boss babes out there, if you have any tips and tricks, def definitely let me know. I would love to learn and grow, bounce off each other, you know, things like that. I'm really open-minded. I don't, I'm not a very judgmental person. So when you guys comment like retarded things, it really doesn't phase me. It just makes me think of like, you know those memes or like those other comments that's like, why waste your time? That's what I think, to be honest. And between my psychology class and like communication classes, like I look at both points of the thing, I'm just like, why? Who has this time on their hands, my doll? Who has their this much time on their hands? I over here don't have fucking time for shit. Yeah, and then we finish it off with the matte finishing. I got my kind of brain dead with the setting spray. Like I said, just because my skin has been so dry, I needed to add some moisture back, even though it's matte, I know. Um, it just feels like it gives the skin a little bit more life than, you know, just being dry, I guess. Alright, other than that, I guess we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I know it doesn't really match with my outfit, but <laughs> I kinda I mean it kinda does like the light blue, it's like a pop of color. Um, but I'll zoom you in. The lipstick looks pretty pink on camera versus like it's more of like a neutral kind of tone. I don't know, maybe just my I don't know. But yeah, this is our look today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking around this long. If you waited to the end. Um, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't be a stranger. Please go ahead and like, follow, subscribe. Um, follow my pages down below. This is going to be a fun journey this year. Um, like I said, I hope not to fall off again. And we will grow together as a page and I love you guys for sticking around and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!